Welcome to the Women O'Neill channel. Today we're on location. We've left the hotel within the Deaf Institute with a very good friend of mine, top man Tim Burgess. How you doing, baby? All right. I'm great, mate. Always better when I'm seeing you. <laughs> We've spoken about this to other people, uh, obviously other Reds, my mates, my neighbours. Uh, what do you think about Ollie? Um, I, I like him. Yeah. I really like him a lot, and 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 I don't think you know. I think he's. Um, you know, I think he's learning, and I think he's doing. I think he's doing really good. Uh, I don't know what's happening elsewhere, you know. But as a manager, talking to the uh, talking to the lads on on the pitch, I think he's doing okay. Yeah, he needs he needs a bit of time. Obviously, will he get time? Hopefully, he does. You know, because he's a club legend. Yeah, and everyone was complaining about like not getting enough players and stuff like that. I think he got some pretty smart players. Yeah. Um, maybe not. You know, the, some of the people that what what what, what we thought what we what, mentioned. What we're yeah. going to get. Yeah, exactly. But he's got a big enough squad. If they stay fit, it's just from in my eyes, it's probably as good as any of the squads around. Maybe not say Liverpool or City, but yeah. on that par. So with injury free, then we should hopefully kick on. Just yeah. going back to it, what's your first memory about United? There must be something that sticks in your mind: a match, a goal, a player. Well, my dad. Yeah. Um, he um, always used to talk about um, the Busby Babes. Yes. <laughs> and uh, and 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 he, you know, I was when I was growing up. I said, "What you, you know, you saw George Best play and all that." And he's like, he'd been watching them since uh, 1956. Yeah. Um, so, um, but my first real memories was um, uh, uh, Stuart Pearson uh, scoring against Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, in the cup final. Yeah. So, uh, we're, we're so was that 77 or 78? 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, I always yeah. remember the. It's probably, I remember my mum that morning going to Graham LA Market and buying me the, the kit for the final. Oh, wow. wow and uh, wow. you actually got the wristbands as well as yeah, a free yeah. gift. And that's, <laughs> I can remember watching the final like it was yesterday and I still managed to speak to Stuart now and it's oh, wow. and the old boys, Jimmy Green, off Mickey Thomas. I used to like Arthur Alberston as well. I, I, I used to really like him. As well. Great play. Five, yeah. If you play over 500 games for Manchester United yeah, Football yeah, yeah, Club, you've got yeah, to be yeah, half yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know, so is he, if you've, I know, as you say about the semi-finals, you won game, what or the goal, what sticks in your mind? You know, looking back over the years. Well, you know, I mean, um, we've had that many, really, haven't we? <laughs> when, when we were a great team. Uh, Giggs is against Arsenal. Yeah. yeah, that's the best ever. I mean, yeah. I, I've recorded that and put it on a Charlton's record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my birthday that day, <laughs> and I was that on the pitch. Yeah, I, it was mad Sim because I was behind the nets. And I was doing the body swerves as he was going. Uh, and his celebration and was pretty, it's pretty, it's it was pretty epic. Yeah, you know? with the, with the <laughs> I still remind me about that nowadays. Yeah, yeah. So music, Tim, this year has been affected like football. So I know you've been busy. Yeah. So if you tell us what you've been doing. Right, okay. So um, um, I put an album out in May. Yeah. Um, and to promote it, we went to New York in March. And yes. we were on the last flight back from yeah. New York um, uh, to, to, you know, uh, to... to Britain and um, then pretty much all of music yeah. live music anyway yeah. stopped as yeah. it did with football um, so we've just been trying to find new ways of uh, doing things yeah. and, and uh, you know I mean I like your channel yeah, thank you very yeah, much yeah, I, think you. I think you've got a new new vocation yes. and uh, coming across really good yeah. and uh, you know we did the list, listening parties uh, yeah. which, which I know you're a fan of and stuff yeah. And um, so, and it's just a way of sort of like keeping people connected, I yeah. suppose, really, because that's what we're all missing, isn't it? Yeah. You know? So how many parties have you done up to now? Uh, it's a, just a few over 500 now. Yeah. We, uh, from I have to say the, the special yeah. one was my best. And obviously the connection with when we got you the tickets for Norwich and you sat next to Teddy Hall, our coincidence that well, one. Well, to get Terry involved yeah. is, 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 is yeah. a big thing. Cause, massive you know, United he, fan. He's a massive well. United yeah. fan. And um, yeah, um, I mean, me and him used to go, uh, you know, quite a few years ago, uh, sort of Britpop kind of era, um, but, but um, uh, you know it was great to meet up with Terry and uh, you know, and, you know, have a drink and then yeah. go 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 and watch Norwich. Yes, Norwich. Yeah. And United one as well. So. Yeah, it's always always with, with Terry with him living down that way. I always used to pump him at the away yeah. games yeah, at yeah, Villa, yeah, yeah. Birmingham, at Coventry. Yeah, you know, he's a passionate red. Oh Terry. yeah, and he's from Coventry. You know, yeah. because, uh, but uh, you know. And I've known Terry for a, a, a long time, and, but I know that he's not 
that sort of forthcoming on sort of you know social media and stuff yeah. like that, and to and to get him to be involved in the specials, which is you know a massive record for everybody. Um, it, it was just a it was a really special one, that. Yeah. a special one. There by the go, specials. By there the go. Special. What do you think about the future for Manchester United? How do you see it going? Do you see him staying with the manager? What what's your you know, I, I have no idea really um, how it's going to go, but I think the players that he's, he's got, you know, um, Van der Beek yeah. and, uh, um, and Bruno, yeah. um, and, you know, Juan Bissaka, I really like him. Uh, and, and I think if you just keep buying sort of like decent players like that, I mean, they might not get, they, you know, they, uh, Sancho wanted them on it. Uh, yes, you know, he did. It, that may be actually still happen. I think that boat sailed now, but you right. never know. If, if, if it happens, great. If not, I mean, because that was really keeping the excitement over the summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're sexing yeah, yeah, each other yeah, yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. you sign them up, please, I know, please. I know. And, 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 and so there's that versus the kind of solid yeah. Dennis Irwin kind of like thing. We could do with it. Uh, we could but, do with it. We could do with it. <laughs> yeah. We're now on a Roy Keane and a Brian Robson and a Rude Van Nistel Roy, but there you go.